Okay, so you're not gonna believe this. Framer has implemented my component inside of Framer as a native feature. So I don't know if you know it, but in Framer we have this long-standing issue where we have a component like this accordion and it animates its height. Sections below will not be animating away smoothly if they're not within the same component with the accordion, but they are just jumping around instantly, which is not very nice. So in order to fix this, uh, a while ago I created a component that fixed this problem super, super easily. But now Framer has also implemented a native feature uh, that basically fixes this same problem. Now in this video I'm going to show you how it works and I'll also tell you why it might be a better idea to still keep using my solution. My name is Nandi, this is Framer University and let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, we are right inside the Framer and we have this example project that you can actually remix if you go down into the description. So you can see that this is just a very simple setup. We have this, I don't know, accordion section here or FAQ section where we can open these down. And we also have the little footer below that is animating away instantly. Now, I'm gonna show you the solution that Framer came up with. You can just simply select the desktop breakpoint, go to the right side, to the right panel, click effects, and you're gonna find the flow effect here. You can also see it says animate nested sections. Now you apply this to the breakpoint, and you might actually think that, okay, that's it. We have fixed the problem and it's no longer gonna jump away. It's gonna be nicely, smoothly animating all the sections. Now, if we take a quick look and see what actually happens, we have applied the flow effect. However, it is still jumping around and you might be a little bit confused like, what the hell is going on? Well, let me show you because it is not enough to just simply add the flow effect to the breakpoint, but you also have to add it to the wrapping frame of this component. So for example, we have the accordion, which will be animating the height, and it is actually wrapped inside of this content frame. You can see it on the left layer panel. Now I have to add the flow effect here as well. I'm gonna go to the right panel, click effects, and then flow. Now let's see what happens. Now, as you can see, everything animates nicely. And you can also change how it is animating. So if we select the desktop breakpoint and the content, uh, it seems like we cannot select the both of them at the same time, because I, I, was ju I just wanted to select the flow effect on both of them, but okay, then I'll just do it individually. So let's do the content first, flow effect, and you can see we have a little transition setting here. Now, this is for setting the transition of like how the sections, like other sections are animating away. This is supposed to be something that you have on the animated component. So for example, right now you can see it's defaulting to like 0.4 seconds, but let's say if we have a longer transition time on this accordion component, I'm gonna just set, I don't know, three seconds for the transition on this, and also for the accordion that is within you're gonna quickly notice that it can look a little weird if we go and preview this. Because our accordion will take three seconds to animate, however, other sections, such as the footer, is animating away uh, in a much quicker way. And yeah, it's not really nice because, you know, the two are not really lining up. So you always have to pay attention to matching roughly matching these two transition times. So in this case, I would need to select the desktop and set three seconds here as well, as well as on the content frame. So let's take a quick look at this. As you can see now, everything smoothly animates and they are all synced up, so it is very nice. However, I also told you that, you know, in this video, I'll also tell you that why it might be a better idea to keep using my layout jump preventer component. Because as you can see here with the flow effect, we have to do a bit of a playing around. We have to apply it to a bunch of frames, maybe the, you know, the desktop breakpoint and then to different like wrappings, wrapping frames within the breakpoint. So let me show you how my solution works 
and then you can just decide which one you wanna use. So let's go back to Framer. And I'm gonna just remove the flow effect from the desktop breakpoint and also from the content frame. And I'll go within the accordion and I'll just set it back to the like regular point for timing. So to make sure that it's not super slow, I'm gonna do it on this accordion within as well. So let me just see how it looks right now. Okay, pretty good. So now our job is to make sure that the footer below is animating nicely. So. Essentially, my solution is just a single component that we put within the component that is animating the height. So let's identify the component. We could say that it is the accordion component, but to be honest, the root cause that basically does this height animation is the accordion component that is within the accordion. So this is actually the accordions component because we have a bunch of accordions within this. But if we click within one accordion, we can see the base component here. Now, this is the one that animates the height. If you go to Frame University, search for the layout jump preventer, we can copy the component. And then back in Framer, we just press Command and V on our keyboard and it will be pasted in. You might be like a, a little bit confused here because you're like, where is the component? You cannot see it because it's an invisible component, but on the left layer panel, you can find it. When you locate it, you just click it, press Command and X, and just make sure that it's pasted within the primary variant of your component. And then also you can you just move it up here so it's nice and clear. And you can also set it to absolute positioning on the right panel to make sure it's not taking up any space or anything. It's really just an invisible component that adds this sort of, you know, fix to your website. Now, once we have this absolutely positioned, placed within the primary variant, now on the right panel, we can see it has a few properties. It can either be used in vertical mode and horizontal mode as well, or both direction. Now, in our case, the component's height is vertically animating, so we're gonna be using vertical direction in this case. Now, as you can see, we have added a single component within one of our components that is animating the height. And now, let's see if it actually fixes the issue. I'm gonna go back to the home page. I'm gonna go and preview this, and if I click here, as you can see, everything works perfectly and the footer is no longer jumping. And I didn't have to add anything else to the desktop breakpoint, to wrapping frames within the breakpoint. I just had to add that simple component within my accordion. Now, I'm actually thinking about one other thing because you know my component has this mode where I can use it not only in a horizontal or vertical mode, but actually I can not only use it in vertical mode, I can also use it in horizontal mode. Now, I'm wondering if the framer flow effect can do this. So let me quickly check this out. Okay, so we have this setup right here. Uh, if you preview this, now we have these get started and learn more buttons. As you can see, as I hover over the get started, the learn more kind of jumps to the side because the width of the get started button animates. So let's see if we can actually solve this problem with the layout jump preventer component. It's gonna be super easy, we just go within, uh, layout jump preventer will be pasted inside, set the absolute positioning and to horizontal direction because we are animating the, uh, the width. So let's see. As you can see, it fixes the problem instantly. Now let's see the solution with the new flow effect inside the framer. As you can see, layout jump removed, jumpy. And now I'm gonna add the flow effect to the breakpoint and then to the wrapper frame of the buttons. Okay, and as you can see, it similarly fixes the problem. So yeah, it seems like that the flow effect also works in both horizontal and uh, sorry, horizontal and vertical mode as well. So yeah, uh, basically that's it, the new flow effect inside a framer, but you might just wanna keep using the layout jump printer. It's up to you.
So I really do hope that this video was helpful and you were able to learn something uh, that can maybe take your sites to the next level. But if you want to even more improve your website or improve your websites even more, just check out framework.university because I have a bunch of free components, resources, remixes, tutorials, basically a bunch of free stuff that you can use on your websites, both personal and commercial projects. So yeah, make sure to take a quick look at this website. So yeah, that's it for this video. Make sure to like it, subscribe for more, and I'm gonna see you in the next one.